Hi, my name is Mrinalni. I'll be discussing the solution how to read netizen null uh, or write netizen null and empty string correctly without any transformation. So the agenda would be so it has been the biggest challenge to read and write binary null and empty string using power exchange for netizen. So, which is which are the versions of Power Exchange Netiza which has the complete solution for this problem? What is a null attribute in the external table to Netiza? What needs to be set correctly to read and write data correctly? So, first, the versions of Informatica with Power Exchange for Netiza which have the complete solution to read. Or write netizen null and empty string as is. Or first the power exchange for netizen 9.5.1. Or power exchange for netizen 9.1 HF5 with an EBF applied. And along with these versions in place, we need two flags to be set in the custom custom property of integration service. So the two flags are sync netizen null with PC null. Treat no data as empty string. So, netiza null is something different than power center null. That's what we are saying. So, power center null is null which is regular binary null. Netiza null by default to netiza database is a string in ULL. And another flag is treat no data as empty string. When there is no data, treat it as an empty string. So these two flags need to be set as in order to read and write netiza null and empty string correctly. So I will just go on the overview how these flags are going to work. In case we have a null in the source and the flag here sync netiza sorry sync netizen null with pc null is set to s when we have a binary null and this flag is set and there is a no null attribute value set by default we treat a null value in the external table of netiza quote close quote and when the flag is set, this null value is changed to power center null, which is the regular binary null. So if, if you have any transformation in the midway of the mapping to check if the data is null, then this would be right, which will evaluate to true. Next, if, if there is a null again, and you have a null attribute value set as x so what it means is if there is an x value coming in in the external table it will change to power center null some uh, so is null would again evaluate to true and finally when this null attribute is set still where uh, and also flag we are going only with the true condition for the flag sync net is a null with pc null equal to s and um, when null value is not set there is no null attribute and the null string represents the binary null in source. This is the default behavior. So we convert null in the external table to PC null. Again, is null check will go to true. So when the flag is not set, or set to no, when there is a null coming in and we read it as quote, quote, and if there is a is null check, this won't be validated to true because the null value will be a quote and close quote. 
so if there is a null attribute value set to x again the pipeline will get x and the if there is a is null check it will be x as it is the last case when the flag is set to no sin net is a null with pc null is no what happens is if there is a null and there is a no null attribute set then if there is a null it gets converted converted into a null string which is four characters n u l l so the external table column needs to hold these four characters n u l l like four characters so the user who wants this uh, net is a default now then they need to make provision for the definition of the table to hold these four characters so, mm, so this is the how the flags are set and treat no data as empty string equal to yes would always treat an empty string as empty string so now i will go ahead and show what is null attribute how it affects the external table and uh, i will show you a run of the mapping and where do we set the flags so i'm going to use a 9.5.1 version of informatica where these flags are applicable and we have the solution for null and empty string and this is a 9.5.1 administration console and for the integration service we need to set these two flags sync net is a null with pc null set to yes and treat no data as empty string to yes then i will be moving on to the designer to just show how the mapping looks and the session so this is a mapping simple mapping and this is a table which we are reading from which is a net is a table where we are reading null and empty string from the source and we have a midway transformation where we are going to check if column 2 is null if that is true we will uh, uh, set it to x or just output the value we read as column 2 and whatever the check null value is put it to the target as it is this is a workflow manager where i have configured the session so here we talk about null value attribute by default when the flag sync uh, net is a null is set to yes and the null value attribute is not set to anything by default in the external table for in, in when we read a null we convert into quote close quote and this is the net is a target since in the expression i'm making the nulls as x i'm setting the null value to x wherever whenever the target reads x value x it is going to put this as a null value in the external table and we would convert it to null or represent it as x and uh, here null value we can say it as x if the source contains x and you want to treat that x null value as null i'm going to show you the run of this session so that we can examine how the create external table has been created with the null attribute whereas by default with in 951 when these flags are, the flags are set and null value is not provided we have null value to the rest quote and close quote 
and also this null value you can represent only one character you cannot represent more than one character this is kind of a feature because if we give more than one character <coughs> the engine has to check every character first to match the null value so we have limited to one character <coughs> and then um, so in case the flag is set to no and this is not this is not uh, defined like it's empty then we would be converting it to null string for characters null in the um, in the external table of netizen so now i'm going to run the job and i will show you the log this is a session log which was run so power, ex for power exchange for netiza for using bulk loader it creates an external table so the external table columns will be the definition of the table we are reading are writing to so this is for the writer which is the target here if we examine the null value is set to x because i defined the null value x and if i go down i can see what is defined for the reader which is the source the null value was empty nothing was defined but the flags are set so we take by default null values open and close quotes so whenever we read null in the external table null value will be converted into this uh, uh, like open and close quotes and within power center pipeline because of this flags the flags which are set will be converting into power center null which is a regular by by regular binary null so any transformation logic which wants to check the null would be true so so we need to understand how these flags work and how the null attribute works so that we can expect what data can be read correctly and how we can establish uh, the relation between the null attribute and these flags uh, so this is a solution in 951 so you would be installing 951 and configuring the flags and um, uh, for uh, the release nodes we can go to power exchange for netiza version 95 release nodes which has a piece of documentation uh, where we have fixed this uh, enhancement or the bug um, in order to avail this uh, solution where we can read and write null and empty string has null and empty string respectively and hope you uh, followed the solution and it was easy to follow so please email us at supportvideos at informatica.com for feedback and also tweet us at infosupport. Thank you.